What's up guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be painting my rifle. Basically we're just going to be painting the stock today. I don't want to paint the barrel because all the etchings inside of it and stuff. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first we have to take the barrel and the trigger stuff out of the stock first. Cause I don't want to paint all that so I think it's just two screws on the bottom here so it's, uh, yeah there's a screw there and a screw there take those two screws out real quick and we'll get that stuff off all right here's the stock this is out by taking those two screws out the bottom I screw in here and here by taking those two screws out takes the whole trigger mechanism barrel everything out so now we have the stock and I want to paint the stock so I'm going to hang up the stock on a piece of fishing line and well first actually take that back we got to mask all the parts we don't want to spray paint it off now I don't want to spray paint any of this on the inside because that's where the barrel stuff fits into by adding paint it won't fit in as well as it does now so I don't want to paint that and I don't paint any of that in there as well I also don't want to paint this rubber on the back and this Ruger sign on the bottom so yeah I think that's about it so I don't want to paint so we'll mask that off and we'll get the painting before we paint the rifle we have to degrease the whole stock where we want to paint it so I'm just going to use some denatured alcohol and some paper towels to Wipe this down real quick. All right, she is masked off where she needs to be. And now we're ready to paint. I'm just gonna paint all of this, even the bipod here. And um, yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and start painting them. All right, this is the paint we're gonna be using. Using Rust-Oleum Camouflage Type Paint. It's a uh, tan, it might look green, but it's tan. And uh, yeah. Go ahead and start painting it. I'm going to do light, even coats all the way around in the rifle. I'll um, probably put two or three coats on here. Alright, we'll let that part dry and keep going up to the top. There's the first coat. Um, we'll let this dry for about 10 to 20 minutes and we'll uh, paint the second coat on there. All right, here we go again with coat number two. All 
Alright, we're going to go start our third coat now. Might be able to get in four. I think I'll just keep going until I like it. So she's done to where I'm happy with it. Um, now she has about 20 minutes to dry and after that we will uh, put it back together and see what she looks like. While we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to paint the magazine that goes inside the rifle. Um, I don't want it to look a different color so I might as well go ahead and paint it. And just like that she's done put three coats on the rifle and yeah I'm gonna take all the masking tape off see the butt pad turned out pretty good and the bottom of it turned out pretty good so uh, yeah and that's all it takes is just some paint from Walmart and then you got this it took me about an hour or two to fully made it, let it paint uh, paint it and let it dry um, it won't be completely dry until five or seven days where it's good if you like bang it up against something and it won't chip off but yeah i mean that's basically about it all right guys that's why i'm gonna end the video today if you enjoy the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel um leave a comment uh go watch some more go watch some of my other videos they're pretty good videos drop a like there so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh yeah